Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical, glorious things that you do to me so well here at Tiny Stare. So, I'm going to slap down the holy water. Oh. It's almost there. It's almost there. I know it sounds like it's there, but I got a couple little more steps. Pisces, you know what I seen last night? So, I was hanging out with my friend, you know, in the backyard, you know, after the pool session, right? So, we're hanging out there, and uh, my friend, he's really a very smart, intuitive, like, he's just, like, awesome, like... I'm like, he needs to be on my YouTube channel. Well, like, him and I talking, you guys should hear us talk. Like, we're... <laughs> or something else. So, anyway, we're having these deep philosophical... This, that's what we do. We have deep philosophical conversations. We get really in-depth, and we peel back the layers like an onion. And we get into... We go we, we go to pound town. And not, like, pound town, pound town. But, you know, like, we, like, brain pound town. Like, our brains are like... Bleh. So, anyway, I'm, like... Hey, we're in this in-depth conversation, and I'm looking at the sky, you know, because that's what I do. I'm like, I'm going to channel energy by looking at the sky and all this crazy shit. And, um, man, I'm seeing this thing, and my buddy's talking, and it's like 30 lights all streamlined like this. Like, perfectly, or like this, you know, just like 30 lights, like a finger, 30 lights, but like two fingers. It's huge, right? And it's like, and I look at my buddy, and I'm like, dude, I'm like, look at the sky, now, 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 now. And he turns around, and he's like, what in the hell is that? I'm like, dude. He's like, dude. So we're both like, dude, that's basically what we're doing. Dude, dude. Because <laughs> we're like, our minds are blown. And like, at first, we, I, 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 like, I knew it wasn't a meteor Right, right? It just wasn't. Because it, it was streamlined. Usually meteorites, they come in and they go, you know, and they move real fast. This thing was just like, streamlined. And it went on. It was huge, Pisces. So, anyway, I didn't know anything about this. So, he tells me today, I text him, and I'm like, dude, I think we're the only ones that seen that last night. And he goes, it was Starlink. So we seen Starlink last night. Has anybody else seen Starlink? If you have and you didn't know what it was, I thought that we were having like an alien invasion. It was the weirdest, weirdest thing. So Starlink's just like, it's just internet. Worldwide internet. It's SpaceX's worldwide internet. And it's like $599 up front and like $110 a month to have this service. So, I was blown away. But, look it up. Okay, look it up online. And just next time, if you guys haven't seen it, and you see something weird like that, it looks like a train. That's what we, that's what we were talking. It was like, it looked like a, a train. It was a long train. Anyway, so, um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Tarot is now in session. The most honorable Judge T.T. T. Dong presiding. <laughs> Sorry. I just was blown away, and I didn't know if any of you have seen it, and I just want to make sure that everybody knows, just in case you do see it, so you're not freaked out like I was, because I thought the alien invasion was coming. I was like, they're coming in trains to kill us. <laughs> so, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy is going to be coming towards you, my beautiful loves, whatever the case is, we're going to get ahead and quit it. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that. Show. Okay, right off the bat. Show Wow. Okay. That was wild. That shot out like a gun. It's like gunfire. Okay, Pisces, hold on just a second here. 
Okay, we got a bunch of cards that wanted to come out here today, Pisces. Okay, the overall energy here, well, there's devil energy here. There's some devil energy in this reading here, okay? Ah. <laughs> oh boy, Pisces, what do we got going on here? I can only imagine. Oh my God, there's something toxic going on here, possibly. <laughs> Or somebody feels like they're chained to the devil here. <laughs> King Cups down here on the table. We've got the Hangman. We've got the Hierophant. We've got the Nine of Pentacles here. So, Pisces, your person here, um, they're trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay? They're trying. There's some kind of perspective that this person's trying to get here. Um, Nine of Pentacles down here on the table. It's a card of basically having all of your money. So, you're almost you're almost able to buy um, the SpaceX, right? <laughs> it costs a lot of money. So this person here has got a lot of abundance here. They're starting to feel liberated in their life. They're dressing good. They're looking good. They're buying new clothes. They're trying to be attractive. Maybe they bought a new bird. Hell, I don't know, Pisces. Um, we've got the Hierophant down here on the table. So before God, these two people sat here. They're praying. One's confused. The other, it's just like, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> this is a weird energy. Maybe that space train's gotten into my freaking reading here. <laughs> but, no. The Hierophant also is, you know, signing of contracts. Maybe somebody wants to sign a prenup. Um, it's also a card of spirituality. It's also a card of maybe seeking counsel here, talking to somebody, um, seeing a therapist. I don't know. We're going to have to find out what's going on. But we got the King Cups down here on the table. King Cups, he's got a lot of uh, deep emotions, but he doesn't show them, and he dollies them out where he sees fit. He's like, oh, you need a cup of loving? Here's your cup of loving. Oh, let me respond to this. Here, how do you feel? You know, he's kind of not not romantic. Not very romantic here, but has a lot of love here. So, okay. Oh, boy. So, we're going to talk to... We're going to see why this Nine Pentacles is here first. Why is this Nine Pentacles down here on the table? Nine Pentacles is down here on the table. Okay. Wow. Okay, Nine Pentacles here is ugh, Nine Pentacles is down here with the chariot on the table. We're going to go one more deeper on that just so I can get some more contrast here. Let's go Nine Pentacles to the chariot here. This person could literally have bought a new car. Holy crap. Nope, they didn't buy a new car. I know they didn't buy a new car. Well, the Emperor... Drives the chariot, and we have the Empress here. So, Pisces, somebody's wanting to put you in their chariot here, is basically what's going on. Yep, somebody here, this single person, you got somebody that's single here, coming towards you, um, looking for something here. Looking, They're looking for their Empress. This person's looking for their counterpart. This is what's coming through. Somebody's looking, a single person is looking for their divine counterpart here. And they're coming right towards you, Pisces, because they see you here as the empress here. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice. Okay. So we're going to talk to uh, the King Cups and see why the King Cups is here. Why is that King Cups here on the table? Let's go. Why is this King Cups down here on the table? Show me the King Cups, please, and Pisces person's energy. What's going on with the King Cups? Let's go. King Cups. Okay. I got something in my nose here. <laughs> okay, King Cups is here because of the Eight of Pentacles here. So they're working on something. What is this person working on here with this uh, Eight of Pentacles here? We're going to go one more deeper for more contrast. Come on, let's go Eight Pen. Top to bottom, I don't know what that was. Let's go, eight pen. Let's go. Okay, eight pentacles here. Hold on just a second here. Yep. Somebody here is looking for their divine counterpart. We've got the we've got the king cups, the queen cups. I said it already here. Um 
Yeah, this person's uh, this person here has had a realization. This is what they've they've been working on finding their they want to find their divine counterpart is what's coming through very strongly here on this reading with Archangel Gabriel. Let me pull out my beautiful Archangel Gabriel. I'm not going to blow the trumpet here because I don't feel like this is a trumpet one that I need to blow my trumpet, but we will always pull out Archangel Gabriel. Um, so, Pisces, somebody's realized that you're their divine counterpart. Yeah. Pisces, somebody realizes that you are very loving, very nurturing. You're a beautiful caretaker here. And this person's always been looking for a relationship. They've been working on finding somebody like you. I've been looking for a lover, baby. Just like you. Just like you. Who sings that song? I've been looking for a lover, baby. I know, I'm butchering that song up. <laughs> My voice is still shot to hell. <laughs> so somebody's looking for their divine counterpart here. We're going to go talk to the hangman here. That is your energy, Pisces. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Well, while they were hanging out from the hangman's tree here, uh, they've seemed to have gotten clarity. All the, all the blood has finally rushed to their brain here. So it's like this person can see clearly here now. So what can they see clearly now here with the Ace of Swords? Come on, top to bottom. What can they see clearly now with this Ace of Swords here? They can see clearly now. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. They can see clearly now that the time is now. The time is now. This person is like go time. It is go time. So this is really what's going on here. They've seen that it's go time here. Mm, Pisces, somebody's coming towards you looking for their divine counterpart here. Oh, that's hot. Oh my God, that gets me hot. <laughs> oh, the car, quit getting hot. Okay, sorry, Judge. Jesus. It is summertime, you know. All right, why is the higher fit here? Oh my God. Holy but Jesus, Pisces. This is love. They're not talking to no counselor here. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why we clarify, right? Right, guys? Of course. Pisces. Somebody here. Somebody wants to marry you. Somebody wants to marry you. I'm just going to say it. I get very few readings where it comes out like this, but it is what it is. This person is looking for their divine counterpart. This is a person here that is going to marry you. This person is going, this, and it's not for every single Pisces out there, because if it was for every single Pisces, I would be working for SpaceX right now, and I wouldn't be here talking about the Sky Train. <laughs> or maybe I would be, who knows? Wink, wink. <laughs> this person's going to marry you. Someone's going to, this person is going to marry you. Pisces could... Send me a wedding invitation, please, for this. If this is your reading, you claim it, and somebody proposes and gets married to you, send me your wedding invitation. Um, I have my uh, mailing address in the description box. Click more, and I will be awaiting my um, invitation here. And I might even go ahead and, uh, you know, I I'm, I'm going to get ordained. So if you want, I can marry you too. That's my next job to do, is to get ordained so I can start marrying people. I mean, hell, I already got a gavel, right? <laughs> if you Pisces get married and you need somebody, fly me out and I'll marry y'all. You know I'll do that, baby. Wow! Somebody's going to marry you. <laughs> this is great. Okay, so we're going to get the final messages. And then we're going to do one card for each sign. What else do you want to tell Pisces? Top to bottom? Somebody's going to marry you, Pisces. The star card, Pisces. This person feels like you are a renewing energy here. They've been looking for somebody just like you, Pisces. Ace of Wands. This person's going to bring a lot of creative ideas here into your life and a lot of passion, a lot of love here, Pisces. And it's the Ace of Cups. Reiterating what I just said, Pisces, this energy's coming towards you and they're going to marry you, Pisces. Wow. 
I'm impressed. I get hot when on these readings when this stuff comes out. <laughs> oh, the courts! Throw that holy water on your body! Oh my god. She's such a bitch. Pisces! Dealing with Pisces. How does Pisces feel about Pisces? Okay, Pisces, this is a cycle here. It's either the cycle's gonna end or the cycle is going to begin again. One of the two. I cannot clarify. Cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Uh, cancer would like, <coughs> they either want to move in with you here or they want to marry you. Scorpio. Scorpio, top to bottom. Scorp, 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 scorp. Uh, Scorpio here has got a lot, a lot of love here for you. Oh, boy. And I feel like they're going to tell you that. Uh, Aries. Aries. Um, you guys are not talking because this Aries is up in their head right now. Leo. Um, somebody's been looking for somebody like you. This, this Leo here, they think you are the bee's knees. Um, or Aries. Was that, yeah, Aries? No, Leo. No, what was it? We got Pi Can Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo. Did I do that right? Oh, yeah, that's what's messed up. Sorry, guys. I always do it that way, four cross. I was messing my own self up. Sorry, guys. Um, Sagittarius. It's because you're going to get married and I'm getting all nutty over here. <laughs> I'm excited about my wedding invitation. Saggy, how do you feel about Pisces? Let's go. Saggy, saggy, saggy. Well, you make Sagittarius really happy, and all they've been doing is thinking about you. Uh, Leo or Libra? Libra. Sure. Okay. They enjoy spending time with you. Um, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Uh, they would like a passionate new beginning here with you. Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Uh, well, they think you're just very financially successful here. That's all, and they're attractive, too. But more than anything, that you're financially successful. So maybe they just want your money, and that's it. <laughs> Virgo! Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. They are in love with you here, and they've had a sudden... Uh, realization about this, okay? It's been sudden. All of a sudden, they're like, oh my God, I'm in love. Okay, Taurus. Taurus. Uh, they're like, this is over. Something's over. Done. They're done with whatever. I don't know. Cappy, how do you feel about Pisces? Cap, 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 cap. Come on now. Oh my God. <laughs> Cappy. Sure. Cappy, Cappy, Cappy. They think all day and all night about you, and they would love to have a litter of kittens with you. So, tarot's adjourned. Send me that wedding invitation. <laughs>